Okay, so ngayon naman punta tayo kay chain rule. Okay, so chain rule, it is a formula for computing the derivative of the composition of two or more functions. So, if y is equal to f of g of x, then y prime or the derivative of y is equal to f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x or the derivative of g of x. X. Okay, so dito sa chain rule, ang first step na gagawin natin is kukunin natin si inner function. So since this is composition of two or more functions. Again, first step is kukunin natin si inner function. Then after that, sundin natin yung formula to get the derivative of a function. So the formula will be derivative of y, so this will serve as your guide, so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y or derivative of the given function with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so ngayon meron na tayong derivative of u na involved. So yung u po dito ito yung tinatawag nating inner function. Okay. So, let's have an example para mas maintindihan po. Okay. So, for example, number one. Kunin natin yung derivative of y where y is equal to the quantity 2x cubed plus 7 raised to positive 6. Okay, katulad ng binagit ko kanina, first step is kukunin natin yung inner function. And yung inner function na yun, yun yung ililet natin, ililet natin as u. Okay, so we let u be equal to, so ano yung inner function natin dito sa equation na to? Okay, so the inner function is itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Inner function. Nasa loob ng Parenthesis. So, we let this as u. So, u is equal to, yun nasa loob, 2x cubed plus 7. Okay. So, once na nakuha na natin yung inner function, balik ka sa original function or original equation. So, y is equal to, so 2x cubed plus 7 raised to 6. But instead of using 2x cubed plus 7 or writing 2x cubed plus 7, ang isusulat natin ay yun na po. Okay? So since equal lang naman sila. So u raised to, yung exponent natin ay 6. Okay? Again, kapag meron ka ng inner function, nilet mo na as u, papaltan mo na siya doon sa original equation natin. Okay po. And then after that, punta ka sa formula, which is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by derivative of u with respect to x. So y prime, kukunin na natin ang derivative. So y prime is equal to, sabi dito, derivative of y with respect to u. Okay. So, derivative of y. Derivative of y with respect to u. So, yung y natin ay u raised to 6. So, derivative of u raised to 6 with respect to u. Then, multiply by, multiply natin siya sa, ayan, saan multiply Derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so derivative of u with respect to x. Ano yung u natin? Ang u po natin ay 2x cubed plus 7. Okay, so 2x cubed plus 7. Okay, just continue the process. So y prime is equal to so, derivative of u raised to 6 with respect to u. Okay. So, dito, pwede natin i-apply si power rule. Again, pagdating sa power rule, ibaba sa exponent. So, exponent natin dito ay 6. Copy the variable, which is u. 
Then, yung exponent na 6 ay babawasin natin ng isa. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung derivative ni u raised to 6 with respect to u is 6u raised to 6 minus 1. Okay, then multiply it by, okay, multiply it by, kunin ang derivative ni 2x cubed plus 7 with respect to x. Okay, so ang i-apply natin dito is power rule and constant rule. Okay po, power rule kay first term and constant rule kay second term. Okay. Okay, so now that is ang derivative ni 2x cubed. So 2, since that is constant, multiply by ibaba sa exponent which is 3, copy the variable x, and then 3 minus 1, so direct ko na, which is equal to 2. Okay? Ibaba sa exponent, copy the variable, yung exponent bawasan ng isa. Okay po? Then plus derivative of constant or derivative of 7 is equal to 0. Okay? So next, that is equal to, simplify, 6u, 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay? So again, 6u raised to 6 minus 1, that is equal to 6u to the fifth power. Then multiply it by, so 2 times 3x squared is equal to 6x squared plus 0, still 6x squared po. Okay? So now, we have here 6u to the fifth power multiplied by 6x squared. Squared. Okay, so meron tayong value ni u. u. So, substitute lang natin yung value ni u, which is 2x cubed plus 7. So, that is equal to 6 multiply by yung u natin, which is 2x cubed plus 7. Then, nakarase siya sa 5. So, yung exponent natin ay 5. Then, multiply it by... 6x squared. Okay, so 6x squared. Okay, so para matanggal itong, uh, kung ayaw nyo na may constant dito sa harapan, pwede nyo namang i-multiply itong 6 dito sa 6x squared. Okay, itong constant na 6, i-multiply natin kay 6x squared. So doon natin siya pwede i-multiply, hindi po dito kay 2x cubed plus 7 raised to 5. Bakit po? May exponent kasi tayo na 5 dito. Okay? So, we need to expand muna bago may multiply si 6. Kung dyan nyo gustong i-multiply. Okay po. So, now, just simply multiply this 6 by 6x squared. So, that is 36x squared. Then, multiply by 2x cubed plus 7 raised to 5. Okay? And this is the derivative of the given function. Okay, so for example number 2, kunin natin yung derivative of y, where y is equal to the quantity x cubed plus 3x minus 6 raised to 2. Okay, so raised to 2. Okay, so again, first step is kunin natin yung inner function. Inner function yung nasa loob ng parenthesis and ilalat natin yan as u. Okay, so we let u be equal to our inner function x cubed plus 3x minus 6. Okay, then after that, instead of writing this x cubed plus 3x minus 6, papalitan natin siya ng u. Okay, so y Balik ka sa original equation or original function, y is equal to, palitan natin ng u, raised to, ang exponent natin ay 2. Okay, so y is equal to u squared. Okay po. So now, to get the derivative, kunin natin ang derivative, y prime is equal to derivative of y with respect to u. So, yung y natin is u squared. Okay? Derivative of y with respect to u, wherein yung y natin is u squared. 
So, derivative of u squared with respect to u. Then, multiply natin siya sa derivative of u with respect to x. Wherein, yung u natin is equal to x cubed plus 3x minus 6. x cubed plus 3x minus 6. Okay? Then, after that, kunin ang derivative. Apply kung ano yung pwedeng apply na rule. Okay, so that is equal to, so first, ayan, so derivative of u squared with respect to u. We can apply the power rule here. So sa power rule, ibaba ang exponent. So ang exponent natin dito ay 2. So ibaba ang exponent, copy the variable, which is u. u ang variable natin. And then, Yung exponent natin ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, 2 minus 1 ay 1 lang po. Okay? But since 1 na lang exponent, pwede na siya as 2 yun na lang po. Okay then Next is, multiply it by... Okay? So, kunin ang derivative ni x cubed plus 3x minus 6 with respect to x. So, we can apply the sum and difference rule and then power rule dito. So, sa sum and difference rule, kunin ang derivative ng bawat isang term. Okay, kunin ang derivative ni x cubed, derivative ni 3x, and derivative ni negative 6 or ni 6. Okay, so now, derivative of our first term, we can apply the power rule ulit. So, derivative of x cubed, ibaba si exponent which is 3. Okay, then, copy the variable x. Bawasan ng isa ang exponent. So, kung 3 ang exponent minus 1, that will be equal to 2. Okay? So, plus derivative of 3x. So, derivative of 3x, this is 3 constant multiple. This is constant multiple rule. Derivative of 3x is equal to 3. Ilabas si constant, kunin ang derivative ni x. Again, ang derivative ni x po ay laging equal sa 1. Okay? So, next, minus derivative of 6. This is derivative of a constant. Lagi pong equal sa 0 ang derivative ni constant. And then, simplify. That is 2u. Multiply by 3x squared plus 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 minus 0 is 3 pa rin. Okay, so now we have here 2u multiplied by 3x squared plus 3. So meron tayong variable u, but then meron din tayong value ni u. Okay, meron tayong variable u dito, 2u. So, yung yun na to ay papalitan na natin ng specific value, which is x cubed plus 3x minus 6. Okay? Ipapalitan natin yung value ni u na x cubed plus 3x minus 6. So, that is equal to 2 multiply by yung yun natin, x cubed plus 3x, at yung yun na nilet natin kanina, minus 6. Then, multiply it by, ayan, so multiply it by 3x squared plus 3. So, 3x squared plus 3. Okay? Okay, so pwede na pong ito yung sagot, pero kung gusto nyo namang i-distribute pa yung 2 sa term na nasa loob na parenthesis, okay lang po. Okay, but then again, pwede pong ito na ang ating sagot. So, y prime is equal to 2 uh, multiply by the quantity x cubed plus 3x minus 6, then multiply by 3x squared plus 3. Again, kung gusto nyo i-simplify or i-distribute yung 2, so pwede siyang 2x cubed plus 2 times 3x is equal to 6x, then 2 times negative 6 is equal to negative 12. Then multiply it by 3x squared plus 3. Okay. And kung gusto nyo pa rin siyang 
i-simplify, then i-multiply nyo yung, yung trinomial to binomial. Okay? So, this is the derivative of the function y is equal to the quantity x cubed plus 3x minus 6 raised to 2. Okay, so next example. So, for example, number 3. Ayan. So, for example, number 3. So, y is equal to 2 square root of x cubed minus 4. So, y is equal to 2 square root of x cubed minus 4. So, now, nakaradical siya. Okay. Kapag nakaradical, pwede natin siyang i-express into a function with rational exponent. Okay. This y is equal to 2 square root of x cubed minus 4. This square root of x cubed minus 4 can be expressed in a function with radical, sorry, with rational exponent. Okay po. So, recall lang, review lang po. Kung meron po tayong nth root of x raised to m, that is equal to x raised to m. Yung exponent ni x, siya yung magiging numerator over yung index, siya yung magiging denominator. Again, we can express the radical into a function or into an expression with rational rational exponent. So convert natin to, rewrite natin to into an expression with rational exponent or function with rational exponent. So y is equal to 2. Okay? So yung radicand natin which is x cubed minus 4. So parenthesis Yung exponent ni x cubed minus 4 ay 1 lang po yan. Okay? 1 over, what will be the index? Kapag po square root, ang index po ay 2. Kapag cube root, ang in index ay 3. Kapag fourth root, ang index po ay 4. Okay? So, ang index natin dito ay 2. So, ibig sabihin, the square root of the quantity x cubed minus 4 is equivalent to x cubed minus 4 raised to 1 half. Okay? And that is y is equal to 2 multiplied by the quantity x cubed minus 4 raised to 1 half. So now, meron na tayong makukuhang inner function. Again, yung inner function natin is yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So we let u be equal to inner function x cubed minus 4. Okay, then after nun, kapag meron ka ng inner function, balik ka dito sa original. Sige, sa equation natin na y is equal to 2 multiplied by quantity x cubed minus 4 raised to 1 half. So, y is equal to 2. Copy pa rin yung 2 since constant yan. Okay, yung pinaltan mo na u. Sa halip na x cubed minus 4 ang isusulat mo, ang gagamitin natin ay u na po. Okay? And it is raised to 1 half. Okay? Then after that, apply chain rule. Okay? So sa chain rule, uulitin ko lang no, sa chain rule po, y prime is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u multiply by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so kukunin na natin yung derivative. So, y prime is equal to, so derivative of y with respect to u. So, yung y natin, so again, derivative of y with respect to u. So, yung y natin is 2u raised to 1 half. So, derivative of 2u raised to 1 half with respect to u. Okay, then next, multiply it by the derivative of u with respect to x. So, derivative of u with respect to x, where yung u natin, yung u po natin ay x cubed minus 4. So, x cubed minus 4. So, derivative of x cubed minus 4 with respect to x. Okay, so next, kunin na natin ang derivative. 
So that is equal to, so for the first derivative of 2u raised to 1 half with respect to u. Okay, so we can apply the constant multiple. Ilalabas ko muna si 2 since this is constant. And then I will apply the power rule para kay u raised to 1 half. Okay, ilalabas ko si 2 since this is constant. Then I will apply the power rule dito kay u raised to 1 half. So ilabas si 2, power rule, ibaba sa exponent which is 1 half, copy the variable which is u, and then yung 1 half na yun, na exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. Okay? And then after that, multiply it by, okay, so multiply it by the derivative of, kunin natin yung derivative ni x cubed minus 4 with respect to x. So, ang rule na gagamitin natin dito is difference, or sum and difference rule, and then power rule. Okay, so sum and difference rule, sum or difference rule. Kunin ang derivative ng bawat isang term and apply kung anong rule ang pwede ni apply Okay? So, kunin ang derivative ni x cubed, kunin ang derivative ni 4. So, derivative of x cubed, pwede kong i-apply dito ang power rule ulit. So, ibaba sa exponent which is 3. Copy the variable which is x. Bawasan ng isa. So, 3 minus 1. Then, minus... Derivative of 4, this is derivative of a constant, that is 0. So, derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. Okay, so that is equal to... Okay po. So, 2 multiplied by 1 half u. So, this 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Then, multiply it by... 3x, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, 3x squared. Okay, so simplify pa rin tayo, no? So, simplify pa rin po. This 2 multiplied by 1 half is equal to 1. I can cancel 2. Since nasa numerator, isa-isa nasa denominator. So, I can cancel this. It is equivalent or equal to 1. Then, u raised to negative 1 half. So, that is equal to u raised to negative 1 half multiplied by 3x squared. Okay. So, now, pwede na nating palitan yung u natin. Okay. So, meron tayong value ni u. Ano yung value ni u natin kanina? x cubed minus 4. So, yung value ni u natin ay... Ayan, x cubed minus 4. Okay po. So, palitan na po natin. So, x cubed minus 4 raised to negative 1 half. Then, multiply it by 3x squared. So, again, hanggat maaari, wag po tayong mag lalagay ng negative exponent. Okay, so gawin nating positive yung exponent natin na negative 1 half. So again, paano nga po ulit? How can we eliminate this negative exponent? So kung meron tayong a raised to negative m, that is equivalent to 1 over a raised to m. Get the reciprocal and going positive si exponent. So ganun lang din po dito. Get the reciprocal. So yung x cubed minus 4 raised to negative 1 half mapupunta siya sa denominator, which is x cubed minus 4 raised to positive 1 half na po. Okay? And then, that is 3x squared. Okay? So, yung x cubed minus 4 lang yung mapupunta sa denominator kasi yun lang po yung naka-negative exponent. While 3x squared ay nasa numerator pa rin since hindi mo naman siya gagalawin. Okay, so now this is the derivative of the given function.